Hey guys, Shinlux here, back with our blind playthrough of Rain World. So last time we left off in the uh, Five Pebbles was what it was called. And we were kind of dumb. I, I say we were kind of dumb because when you first go into that area, there are those little things flying around. And I was like, oh, these are the things I'm supposed to get for the alien child, right? I'm like, but it's not this one. These are the enemy ones or something like that. Because our little, our little hologram showed us things like that, but they were the wrong color or something. They were blue, and the one we're looking for is white or something. So I saw those things flying around. I was like, okay, no problem. And I just assumed they were inorganic. I didn't think you could actually eat them, which turns out you can that's your food source for this area so good to know we are here we are five pebbles is kind of crazy because as far as i could tell it is a giant computer and i don't know if going through the wall gets you here I don't even know where the heck we we started. We started over here somewhere and Okay, so we came in We came in originally from here, which was from the exterior. And I assumed and it's, it's still possible that you go... Oh, Jesus Christ, I really hope you don't... This might connect to this. Which would be interesting that you basically loop around. Um, but I was like, oh, you know, you can't, you can't get... You can't go up, you can only go to the right. So I assumed that this was the, the wall connection. And then, you know, it, we got around, we got to the... Because uh, here, this was like... I don't know, it was like a space station or something, right? It was... That's why I was like, oh shit, are we in space? Oh, we got both kitties here now, huh? We got Jack behind me, he was just walking around, then we got... What are you doing, Manny? Do not... Do not get in there. Do... You You will... Okay. Sorry, mister. Sniffing my, uh... My... Protein... My espresso protein shake thing. We get up to here. This this is the thing that fascinated me the most. This memory core area. And I confess to having... To rushing because I was like, I don't want to go through this whole area again. I thought it was going to be shorter than this. And I was like, there's no food, so we have to be able to get through it all in one go. And the weird grass stuff which maybe is not grass i don't i don't even know anymore because there was the red worm things that were like touching it or interfacing with it or, or there was like electricity going between the blue grass and the freaking red worm is this whole is the whole rain world some sort of organic computer like in um freaking Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? I don't know. I don't know. I do know this area. Apparently you can't die when you run out of time, which is nice. Somehow this goes up and to the right. I, maybe that's what this connects to. I, I don't know anymore. There's this big area. Maybe I am going the wrong way. That's That's part of this. Is like, I'm probably... Yeah, I have no idea if I'm going the right way or the wrong way or if I'm going in one big-ass loop. And maybe I really need to go here, but up to the top. I couldn't tell you, but I... Oh, we're at, against the wall. All right. I couldn't tell you, but I do feel better about it now that we've found a way to save and restore the food for ourselves. So looks really cool though, these this art. Whoever 
man, whoever did the art for this game, phenomenal. Right? I mean, let's let's take a look at this real fast. Now, how, now how many areas have we found? Because I feel like this game keeps going up, and I expected it to go down. If that makes any sense, right? So we start in the outskirts. I expected it to be all below the outskirts, right? Not up into the sky. So there's outskirts, industrial complex, garbage wastes, shaded citadels. So that's four, but not pictured is drainage system, which is five. Okay. Shoreline, which is six. And then there's the path to the moon, which I guess is not its own area. It's part of the shoreline still, right? Uh, hmm. That's correct. Path to the moon. And this kind of looks like the little computer area too, sort of. This is its own... No, that's part of the shoreline. I'm sorry. That's not its own area. Well, hello, Mr. Cat. Do you want to... Oh, jeez. Okay, you're getting into my lap? All right, that's fine. So shoreline is six, was it? <laughs> what is you guys are both very cute. Farm arrays is seven. And there goes Manny. Exterior, eight. Five pebbles, nine. Wall is 10. That leaves two areas. Are there two below? Like, does the drainage system connect to two other ones? I don't know. I don't know. This is the reason why, like, I ramble. I, I could talk for, like, a freaking hour just about anything. All right, let's go. I'm really hoping... So the last episode was long, and I was really kind of tired and hungry and worn out and I was stressed because I couldn't find a save point and I'm like I don't want to go through this area again or you know the whole area again you know what I mean but now yeah now I'm ready I'm ready to see what this area holds that's part of the problem part of the problem is you need to and we are glowing now because we ate one of these things. Is that what we're supposed to do? Five pebbles. Right, was the was the the point that we were Um Ah crap. Was the point that we're supposed to glow and then go back to the alien child? Do we need to eat all the colors as I walk through space? I'm going to be... It's going to be bad if I get... Uh, if I get the alien child's... If I find the one that it, he, she, whatever wanted and uh, eat it by mistake, that's going to be... It's going to be a bad day. Oh, this is a big area. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, well... Right, so we could go to the right. Which is... I wanna... I do wanna explore this area, if I'm... If I'm being totally honest. Uh, I just don't wanna... Okay, I... Yep. How close do I have to get to reveal this stuff? Does that make any sense? Can I... Oh my god. Spin in space, I guess. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Okay. Should we call it Space World now instead of Rain World? Alright. Yeah. 
Uh huh. I guess. Ah oh, crap! I the letting go thing while you're not at the end of stuff. That's wait. Is is that not a okay? I thought it was. Am I a bug in the machine, so to speak? Do I just want to go this way? And see where it leads and kind of worry about... Oh, well, alright, go in. I'm still weirded out a little bit by that like, we went through areas that I really thought were, um, like, open, open to space, you know? Is this thing... Oh, that is something. That's... So, I mean, that's clearly a star map, right? Am I going to screw this whole thing up? Am I... Oh, um, uh, no. Oh, my gosh. Maybe I could grab one of the little guys and like... Oh, well, there goes my stick. <laughs> I didn't want to... Oh, I guess I was holding down, wasn't I? Uh, can I... Alright, I tried to throw it. That didn't work. You know what they say. You win some, you lose some. How is that thing in there? Oh, but let me get... There goes Jack. Let me get one of these. You never know if you need a stick. Alright. So are we going... Oh. Bless me. Woo. Oh, baby. Get... Okay, just keep flailing your arms. Alright, we're, we're gonna fling ourselves right into the maw of a hungry... something. Uh, okay, so this is... Oh, there we go. This is right above where we started. Let's see, again, those blue... You see, just like the red worm stuff, you see, like, electrical sparks going between the blue grass and those things. And so I have no idea if that's supposed to be like this. Or if it's not. What I do know is I don't want to get eaten. And... I kind of the same thing I I don't I don't know if this is like the way I'm supposed to go oh all right I mean this is a new area and it takes a second for the map to fill in when we're we're doing the Zen thing so this is not a new area we have been here which leads me to believe that maybe... Maybe we do need to go into this and up. Maybe this is where we're supposed to go. I was just so freaked out about dying, you know? And I don't want to go back there because I couldn't get through that stupid little thing. 
I mean, unless we're supposed to go up here, but it doesn't seem... It seems like everything is... Like, looping around into the center, presumably. Everything... Because, you know, this looks very... Important. Looks like a freaking CPU. So let's try going back there. Because... Because I have no idea. Grab it, if you can. All right. Wait. Where does that way go? I don't know. Should I wait for it to fill in? Is it going to fill in? Uh, it's filling in slowly. Maybe the speed at which your map fills in is dictated by your karma? That would be a weird thing. Well, let's, let's head there. If, if we can. Um, I, don't, I don't know if we can. We're going to try. Someone did mention that they're like, hey, don't worry about your karma. It's basically just only for doors or something like that. But I, it's got to be more. There's got to be more to it than that. Oh, well, that was silly. Um, oh, I thought I thought I'd grabbed it, but I guess I had not. Oh, it shook. Yeah, that's about right, though. Oh, what did I do? On the other hand, even though it sounds like space, it does kind of sound like we're underwater at the same time. I know, I'm trying to... Trying to explore. And... I'm just trying to get all the map stuff. You know, I mean, I know it's stupid, but maybe it's not that stupid. It's like the more I, I just can navigate, obviously can navigate better if we have a better map. <laughs> Grab it, or eventually I'll hit the surface. We'll try and map according to the crisscrossing method of fling yourself around until you barf and then you can direct yourself with your with your own vomit like <laughs> I would seriously yeah there's I mean yeah dude I would be barfing so much Are we sure we haven't been here before? I guess not. And I'm, I'm full of food, so there's that at least. Okay, well. God, if it starts talking to me or something, that's gonna be... Hello, slug cat. What is that thing from, uh... The first Mass Effect Sovereign? I need to replay that. It's been... I've, I've played through the whole thing once. Maybe that's why. Maybe we are exposed to... Atmosphere. Or, uh... Well, that was dumb. I played the second Mass Effect actually a few times. That was a good one. Still have to play the third, although I hear it's, you know, okay. 
So those red things, see, like the red things are doing something. They're all these things are like interfacing with each other. I'm trying to understand, you know, I never like wanted to be a biologist, but xenobiology might be cool as hell. Like trying to figure things out. But then again, you'd have to know biology to understand how aliens are different. Is there something I can eat that gives me a better... Oh. A better mapping radius? I'm not even touching anything, but it looks, it does look like he's swimming. He, she, it. Slug cat. Oh, that was a bad move. Uh, grab. Maybe grab that. Can I, I can sort of alter my trajectory just a little bit. And see, the things that I'm eating are doing something. Uh, can I? I need to... There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fling yourself up this way. There's more of those. And see, the weird thing, this thing that I'm climbing on almost looks like... See, we, we have been here. Okay. Well, let's maybe go in there then. Uh, it looks like a neuron, right? And these kind of look like muscle fibers or something. All right, so we have been here before. Do we want to go up here? And it's interesting that it fills in by the path, like what's connected, right? So it doesn't just fill this part in. You have to trace your steps mentally back there. That's kind of neat. Let's see if we can connect these, I guess. Maybe this episode is just going to be exploring the inside of a giant computer. Oh man, he's so cute over there. Five pebbles, memory conflux. Like, see, this seems like it would be an important place. Memory conflux seems like it would be important. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to be here. I don't know if I want to go down there. You know, but... Alright, we'll wait for it to fill in, then what's... Because this is... Yeah, I mean, we died a bunch, and then before we got up into the memory conflux proper... Should we? Do we want to... There's probably one more... Like, these are the corrupted areas. I really don't know. I don't know about that. It's too easy. I'm gonna, let's do, let's do the smart thing and not. And then kinda, if we can, we'll kinda wiggle ourselves across the wall. And then, uh, right. And it sounds like a beating heart, too, which is weird. This room is quite a bit bigger. I don't know if I've been to this one. Survey says no. Looks like no. Am I going to get eaten? Anything's possible. So it's like they're trying to build over these holes.
I don't mean it. Sorry. Oh God. <laughs> okay, well. Barfing everywhere. Everywhere. Alright, well, let's just oh well see that was I I I'm so sorry. Oh god, that was totally the wrong way too. I'm I'm such an asshole, I'm sorry. At least it's it seems like it's going back into place pretty easily. <laughs> just, just imagine, like, being at your job and some asshole just, like, smashes through everything and you're like... You're like, this is the fate of the world. See, this feels important too, but who knows. Oh god, am I heading for a bug zapper? All right, so we have been here. I don't think we went up there, though. Is this? Oh, interesting. All right, because this was an area I was... Yeah, this, this seems like... Probably the right way to go. General systems bus. I know nothing about computers. You know, aside from you can turn them on and stuff. But this seems like a key area to me. There's the star map and stuff. And see, okay. I don't know what's going on with these red things. This seems... Oh god, and the music's, like, rising. Is there gonna be a heart in this? What is... This is actually really kinda... Not stressful, but it's like... Maybe, like, meeting God or something? Like, cause it's... Maybe that's a dumb thing to say, but... Because it's like, it, this area is like so huge and grand. And it's like, legitimately awe-inspiring. Go, go up. Go up. Oh my god. I'm, uh... Oh, see that... Wait, am I going the wrong way? Alright, spin in circles, maybe that'll get us there faster. The weird thing is, it does maybe appear to be doing that? Oh god, oh no. Ugh. Okay, well... Alright. That did not help. Maybe if I grab one, it'll let me move in that direction? I mean, I think these things are just food. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll just let it go. See, the music doesn't know what to do, because it's like you you were supposed to... Oh, God, I flung myself the wrong way. Because, <laughs> like, you were supposed to probably go up and meet God, and instead I'm floating around like a jackass. Uh, but, you know, let's see if we can go to the left. Grab that thing and we'll... Get it! Get it! Maybe! Oh, no. Oh my god. Almost. Oh 
Okay. Okay, that's something. Okay, this is where we were before. No, how about we... Ah, go! Ah. Use your tail, like to swim or something. Strangely enough, it does seem like it's actually helping somehow. So wait, where does this go then? Uh, well, I... Maybe that is where I'm supposed to go. This seems like a good direction. I want to hit... Whatever... Oh. So... Yep. All right, uh... You know, the worst part is I know someone's, like, watching this and potentially foaming at the mouth and being like, No, you're supposed to go up, you idiot! How do you not know that? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm retarded, basically. Like, <laughs> you know? Not just socially retarded, but regular retarded as well, probably. Well, let's try going in. Why am I slowing down? Let's hope I can catch one of these things. All right. Caught the right one. Excellent. Okay, where... Wait! Is that... Dad alien? There's a pearl. They have pearls. Are the pearls important somehow? I have a pearl in my belly. Oh! It's like you. What are you doing here? Um. Oh wait, I was gonna barf up my pearl, but maybe he's talking? I was trying different languages or something, but okay, it's trying different. Like, I'm gonna leave the pearl right here. It's trying language, right? First, it was spoken language, then it's written, but I can't read. I'm a... I mean, I've seen stuff like that all over the place. What? What is this? Okay, and I also, I couldn't... Wait. What is that? It goes into a chip, and then something, and then we have different... It's analyzing my brain? Oh, was I... Oh, what's going on here? Ah, what? Is this reaching you? Holy cow! Yes. A little animal on the floor of my chamber. I think I know what you are looking for. You're stuck in a cycle, repeating pattern. You want a way out. 
uh, maybe. Know that this does not make you special. Every living thing shares that same frustration, from the microbes in the processing strata to me, who am, if you excuse me, godlike in comparison. The good news first. In a way, I am what you are searching for. Me and my kind have as our purpose to solve that very oscillating claustrophobia in the chests of you and countless others. A strange charity. You, the unknowing recipient, I, the reluctant gift. The noble benefactors, gone. The bad news is no definitive solution has been found, and every moment the equipment erodes to a new state of decay. I can't help you collectively or individually. I can't even help myself. For you, though, there is another way. The old path. Go to the west past the farm arrays, then down into the earth where the land fishers, as deep as you can reach where the ancients built their temples and danced their silly rituals. The mark I gave you will let you through. Not that it solves anyone problem, anyone's problem but yours. At the end of time, none of this will matter, I suppose, but it would be nice if you took another way out, one free of frolicking in my memory arrays. There's a perfectly good access shaft right here. Uh, and that's the one he's shoving me to now. It's pulling me that way, and it's pushing me in. That's all. You'll have to go now. Do I wait? What's weird, though, leave. Wait, hang on. I need to... Hang, I, hang on. What if I give you one of these pearls? Little creature, this is your last warning. Okay, I'm out. Did I get my pearl back? Oh, well, I did. So, okay, hang on. He said go west past the farm arrays. Great. And then down into the earth. You're looking for a way out. Am I... Well, I guess that's the end of the game that he's talking about. Trapped in a cycle. So we're both created by... something else. Does that mean the alien created us? Is it an alien? I don't know. It sounds like it was created by the same people that created this place, but I don't know because... I mean, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, time! Wait, what do you mean, the X's? Is that like a weird karma thing? Also, can I not go to the left, to the right? We'll pick that up as well. Well, the weird thing is though, oh, this looks like I can't go that way. This is your last warning. I was like, all right, well, I guess I don't want to piss him off, but I was trying to, I guess he was more charitable. I wonder if he is outside of these cycles. You know what I mean? I wonder if there's an achievement for just staying in there and, and getting whacked or whatever by him, but then, then what? Is this like him helping me, him helping me to get farther? Or if you piss him off, he seals off his chamber and he's like, yeah, no, you're, you're out of here. Yeah, you, you have to go back the way. But I mean, it's, it's a weird thing. It's like you're in my memory arrays. Yeah. But he's outside of the flood. That's the other thing, right? Is so let's say. Was the memory array thing created for him? Whereas the... Other area was created for us? If that makes any sense? I don't know. Yeah, the karma or lack thereof is, is a little weird. 
go west of the farm arrays and then as deep into the earth as you can reach. Wait. Gravity is coming back. And what was... All right, so what is this? Whoa, whoa. Okay, but it's not quite back yet. So we have... My brain interprets this as like football or something, but... In the middle is this karma symbol, right? And it's the bottom and it looks like there's one, two, three, four, and then there's a... If it's like in a semicircle, there's a scratched off spot that has potentially a fifth spot for the karma. I just don't know what these two figures are supposed to be. There's this one, which... I don't know, football jersey man and robot man right here. I don't think this is the alien. I'm gonna call him the alien. But then there's some weird, like, embryo thing, like, here, above it. And then they're speaking in code or something? I don't know. Trying to interpret this. And then if that's the case, so... What about that other alien, the alien child? Are they of the same... What's going on? Is it the child of the other one? Is that one, you know, where they both created? Because, yeah, I don't know. Was I supposed to find something and bring it? Did they want me to get one of those little things that were floating around and bring it all the way back? All right, so here we have, aha, gravity is less. Or more. Right, the second karma. It's like a weird thing of enlightenment. But then more... A couple more spots that are scratched off, which is weird. Is this the robot person? Or wait, hang on. Let's, we gotta check this out again. Alright, so the first one... They're both robot people, kind of. So the one on the left with the red costume has, like, <sighs> wires and stuff in its back and legs. So presumably that's... That's the al... I don't know. Is this the alien? Is this... Who knows? And then the one on the right, presumably, is the one that is on the next thing, wearing the clothes. But it has, okay, so it has green arms. I don't know. Because this one has, like, we got, it looks like it's kneeling, and then it has its arms kind of hanging out, but then it has something on it going back and then maybe some wings but this is the second karma how high does this go okay well this is the third third tier you have more yep and the gravity is approaching normality. You have a couple people kneeling. People loose. But they both seem to be facing the center, possibly embracing her. I don't know. Their faces are scratched off. 
Was that what it was? Oh, is this two? Two of them. Are they having sex? Are they killing each other? What's what's going on? That's why there's multiple. That's the feet. And this is like straddling one. And they're... And here... The one in the red is leaning over the other one. So two figures, always two. Am I supposed to have a partner in this quest? Is that supposed to be the... the alien child thing? We're running out of time. Um, although, right now, This area is so weird. So, yeah, he gets... Kind of weird, right? I don't know what he's doing in there, though. That's kind of the weird thing, right? Like, what was he... And, yeah, he's, he's right. It's like every time it decays. Here, there's only one. One face that's scratched off, and it's... It seems like it's a little more wealthy or something. No five? It has all, all these blue... Ah, the blue fruits on the sides. It's wearing robes. But again, the face is scratched out. I don't quite understand why. Hmm. What did it say? It's decay? Like, it's trapped here. It's trying to escape the cycle. As well, presumably. So did it give up? I don't know. And then said the ancients or something. There's potentially the top one, but where is the karmic symbol? I'm not sure there is one. It looks like it's holding up two shields as a bunch of knives are stuck into it. So what, happiness is the lowest karma? Oh no, the symbol, you could see it, it's the scratched out part. When it gets, when it gets dark, you could see the symbol on it. You can't see it when it's bright, but when it's dark, the symbol shines through. But why? And what is... What is this? Nothing? So what, am I immune to karma now? I can go through any gate? It did say the mark. The mark I gave you will let you pass. I didn't explore the farmer rays. I was like, screw that. I don't want to go through here. And all this language. Right, so it was it was displaying all the language and then it was looking up I guess records about us, right? And then it's like, oh, you have brain capacity to understand. I don't I feel like this stuff is very on the nose, like these five karmic things, but I don't understand them. I feel like even this, I don't understand. Like, I understand it. He's basically like, hey, you're trying to get out of the cycle. 
cycle of what? Being an animal? Or was he talking to the player? I don't think he was. But then, didn't we... Weren't we supposed to come here... Because of the... Alien child? I don't know. Don't know. I don't really want to fall, though. But I guess we have no choice. Well, okay. Well, yeah, and it gives you food, it gives you spears, and it lets you save. Oh, I guess I could have gone down this way if I wanted, but... So... What does this mean now? I kept the pearl at least. I figured we'd get something. Achievement unlocked the journey. So if I remember right, uh, the uh, something about you're not alone. Only thirteen percent of let me let me let me pull up my. Oh, you can see my mouse. That's good. Okay, so the journey go west past the farm arrays and then down deep into the earth. Yep. Uh, but I was really hoping it would tell us the percentage. Um, I don't want to. I don't really want to go to the. How do I pull up my? I haven't pulled anything up. Where do I pull up like the, maybe the community hub? No, not the community, I don't, I don't want to. Not uh, store, not store. Uh, activity? No, it doesn't say, hmm. Somehow, all right, let's close that. When I exit the game, it'll all hover over it and it'll show me like the percentage. I could have sworn, yeah, like very few people do this, which is weird. It's very weird to me. But of course, so I'm dreaming about this guy and of course he has the it's very Japanese right you look at him not because he's connected and all that stuff although that makes sense it's like biomechanical but the halo behind him because that's that's a very Japanese thing of like the sun and so I wonder about the pearls like I tried to drop the pearl I wonder if you could have grabbed one of those things. But it seemed like he was doing special stuff with them, right? So, like, the pearl that I had is probably... Why the scavengers collect them? Are the scavengers related to this guy? Or are we all... Are we all in the same... I don't know. But it's like the scavengers collect the pearls because they're pretty. He, it, does something with them. Uses them for calculations, or they're part of the machine, or something like that. I don't know, but just the fact that, yeah. Maybe, maybe I got the achievement because you can screw up and not get it. I don't know. The karma looks all different now. I don't know 
what that is. What the hell is that one? Save again with full karma? Are there 10 levels? Not five anymore? Well, I'm gonna stop here. That was kind of ridiculous. So this shaft goes where? I assume I'm still in the five pebbles, yeah. All right, but we're here. So, all right, there's that. And then we are going up. And then this goes somewhere. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know what to think now. I like, I appreciate... I appreciate that it sort of spelled out some stuff for once. I feel kind of weird. I feel like I probably missed my opportunity to get one of those. I Maybe you did have to get one of those little things that I was eating for the alien child. I don't know, because that alien child is like... Well, I don't know. That one's in a in a flooded chamber where everything's, you know, it's ruined. Not like this dude's one where, well, it's still decaying over time and eventually maybe one of the goose spiders will get in there and eat it. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. It's... I don't know. I haven't even had any of my uh, espresso. And it's already... I have like three hours until bed. Like an idiot. I'm gonna basically drink two strong cups of coffee. Oh well. That is it for today, guys, though. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. If you like these, please give them a like. Leave a comment. Um... I do read all of them. I do respond to all of them, although it usually takes me a few days. And when I do respond, I'm socially retarded, so just beware. You know, <laughs> I, I try. I try to. Uh, I guess I need to try harder to make my responses better and interesting. But I'm, I'm learning. I'm still learning. So, yeah. Questions, comments, concerns, good, better, and different. Let me, let me hear them. I read all of them. Uh, what else? What is your guys' unique positive moment for today? It's, this is going to sound kind of strange, but I've uh, I did some push-ups and I really enjoyed them. Like just not even many, like ten. But I haven't done push-ups in a while, and it felt good to. It felt normal because I have a lot of shoulder problems. I've you know torn my rotator cuff and stuff, so and I have like chronic pain anyway, but. It kind of feels like it'll help doing push-ups. Like once I once I get the shoulder in the proper position to like, because it like catches some of the muscles or tendons or whatever catch. But once I get them like proper, it, it feels good to actually like move. And it feels like it'll probably help. And I was at work all day. I was like, man, I'm going to get home and I'm going to do some push-ups. It's like this kind of the dumbest thing really, but... I enjoyed it. Very silly, but weird. It's kind of like maybe like eating nutritious food and you're like like all you eat is junk food and then you eat like a like a pear or you know something nice. And you're just like, "Man, I I want another I love pears, by the way. But you just, like, you know, you just, like, I want something good. Like, it's weird to have something good for me that I enjoy. 
Wow, now that I say that out loud, that's really kind of sad, I guess. But, uh, I don't know. I'm going to do more. I enjoyed it. It was good. Maybe give it a try. Uh, although I use the perfect push-ups things because my wrists. I don't do them normally because that hurts. You could do them on your fists so you're not, like, bending your wrist back because that sucks. Especially if you're like me and you have, you know, carpal tunnel in both hands. Uh, but, yeah, the perfect push-up thing works pretty well so uh yeah that's my unique puzzle moment now that i've rambled on enough hopefully your guys is just as good if not better hopefully better of course and i hope to see you guys wow excuse me hope to see you guys next time till then guys take care